If I were to think of the testing grounds to make the toughest, strongest, and most functional camper, a place rugged and remote like the Australian Outback I think would provide sufficient diversity and obstacles to craft a beast of a machine. And that's what has been done with this trailer. Now I've seen pull behind trailers before, but I've never seen something this compact with this many features. G'day, I'm Tim from Trackabout USA, and today we're on Vashon Island in Washington State. Today we're gonna go through Trackabout off-road camper trailer, our extended model that's manufactured proudly in Australia. It is a complete off-road grid camper trailer. Wherever your 4x4 goes, this gets towed behind it. And I can assure you that your 4x4 is gonna break before this does. So here we are. We've got our extended model here. This is our larger family-based camper trailer. It's 17 foot long. At a dry weight, you're looking around about 2,600 pounds. In payload, it can carry roughly about 1,600. And our tongue weight here is about 280 pounds. What we have here in terms of features, we have the best. We've got the D35 hitch. This allows you to do all the stupid stuff that 4x4 allows you to do, okay? We've got the handbrake here. It's a basic thing, but there's no chocking, okay? We've got a place here for your barbecue arm. What we've got here is our stone reflector, okay? And what it's designed to do is reflect all the stones and hit them back onto the ground, not crack it into the glass at the back of the tow vehicle. Got a place here for your outboard motor. 15, 20 horsepower motor goes right there. This here, you can see what that is. That's our bike rack. This is iSide Bicycles, Australian made product. You can go two or four bike setup. It's the toolbox, okay? This is where all the brains is. We've got our Webestos in here and Red Arc machines, okay? What we got here is a hot cold shower section here. We've got the outlet here, plug in your hose, and you've got a creek suction as well. So what that means is basically, if you're near a creek, you can run your hose out, suck the water through, and have nice long showers all day long. So we've got a filter as well, so it cleans out the water for you. At the back here is our lithium battery setup, okay? They're well protected at the back there from the toolbox, so nothing's getting to it. We've got our tinny on top here, and track about, I've got to say, is all about carrying our toys, okay? Coming through here, we've got jerry cans for the water. We've got a lockable storage in here. This is your mud box in here, but it's pretty much just put all your security stuff, all your goods in there. Come around here, you've got two 10 pound gas bottles, another mud storage room in here, fully lockable. We've got the fuel jerry cans here. We've got a great place here to access the two 26 gallon water tanks. Just pump this up if you wanna get water, just to be able to stop on the side of the road. And we've got two 26 gallon water tanks sitting underneath there. It's over 200 liters of water. Through here, this is your pole box in here. You can put fishing gear, whatever you like in there. It's a great storage box as well. This here is the diesel tank that supports the Webestos uh, hot water system and also heater as well that we'll show you shortly inside. Probably one of the main features. So this is simple. All we're gonna do here is get the bubbles and we're just gonna level this out. There's no chocking, there's nothing like that. It's just two buttons. We'll level this trailer out and you're good to go, sleeping nice and comfortable. We're gonna start the unpack mode now. We typically say around about three minutes. So let's go around and let's get this done. So a little bit more bit about Trackabout as well. Trackabout is really considered to be one of the industry leaders in the design, innovation, and quality of off-road camper trailers. And they've been around since 1998 in Australia. And the boys there have done real life research and development, okay? This is not just some toy. This is a serious off-road machine. Start undoing these clips. This is the black tonneau cover that pretty much wraps up um, all the canvas, okay? It's got Velcro and zips. This thing has been around for 20 years and it's been around pretty much every place in Australia. It goes off, the boys take it everywhere just to try to break it. This thing's been rolled. It's been on adventures for, you know, over six months plus traveling around Australia. So it's seen everything. It goes through water. It's been bogged, it's been everything. And really the reason why we do this is so that we got a product that the customers are assured that's been through the toughest terrain around in toughest conditions. There's nothing worse than having a, a camper trailer that's gonna be broken on the side of the road. There's a heaps of room in here so you can pack up, put in extra stuff like, you know, your, your solar panels, chairs, tables, Pretty much whatever else you need. Just 
give it a couple good tugs out here. Okay, now we're just gonna set up the, the main awning here that goes over the kitchen. And it's important to note that all these poles are fully integrated. They don't disconnect, they stay with the camper. This kitchen here is a simple slide out. It's probably one of the best kitchens that you'll see out in the market on all camper trailers. It simply opens out, legs come down, clip it in here, and a complete setup. Nice little bar section here, great for preparation, but there's no other kitchen like this out in the market. Got your sink there for hot and cold water. Here we've got here a three gas burner, Evercool fridge freezer. It's 60 litres. This is a fiberglass fridge freezer setup. So basically you've got here, you can go all fridge, freezer fridge, or all freezer. We've got the Red Arc TVMS here, okay. This here controls all your 12 volt system. Here, our foam set up here to take all the cutlery that you possibly need. You've got plates for four, you've got bowls, so any more than four people, they basically got to eat second and wash up dishes, right? Here, you've got your cutlery through here. There's soft closing drawers as well, so there's no slamming. We have our Fusion outdoor stereo system as well. In terms of storage, you couldn't get, possibly get any more than what we have here. We've got a nice little bench up here too for cooking and preparation. We've also got two more drawers sitting in here for pots and pans and the like, okay? Um, but then we have all the storage at the back here. So based on this setup, how long you think you go off grid? You've got two 26 gallon water tanks underneath, so over 52 gallons of water. And then obviously, it's fuel as well, but more importantly, it's water because everything else, we have the solar panels here from Red Arc. They're gonna keep the batteries charged all day long. So, you know, you can go out with months on this and weeks for sure, especially if you're gonna have showers um, through a creek or something like that and use that water rather than the, the water underneath for drinking. So as long as you're conservative about that, then you'll be, you can go off grid for some, quite some time. So welcome to uh, Inside Our Track About Extender here. This is our sleeping quarters, and as you can see, I'm under six foot, but there is plenty of depth to come. So come on in. First up, what you're gonna see is a beautiful queen size inner spring mattress, okay? Also, we have our bed head set up as well. As you can see, it's fitted with the Sirocco fans on either side to keep us nice and cool and let the breeze come through. Up here, we've got some reading lights as well. We've got more light fixtures up here that's supported with our 12 volt socket and also USB to keep the phones and iPads and everything else charged up as well. Quick access to water if you need so, okay? Also, the lockable storage in here too to put your valuables. When you come around, you're gonna have some additional storage as well. We've got drawers in here. Again, these are soft closing drawers, as you can see in the extender. We actually have four drawers are fitted with our extenders. Well, Bestos diesel heater here as well. And what I recommend is zipping up the door here in the window and zipping everything else up, put that heater on. It's gonna get that space nice and warm quite quickly. I'm under six foot, I'm about five, five ten, five eleven. I've got plenty of room to stand up here, okay? Can't really see that in other camper trailers, but in this one, you definitely can. I personally, I put my boys down here as well. We have a nice little bunk bed set up, and this is where they sleep down here. We also have our Burmanese Mountain Dog, big 90 pounder. He sleeps in here with us as well. It's nice and heavy duty material. This here is dino proof canvas. Like I said, it's heavy duty. This is an Australian made product as well. So the best you're gonna get, simple as that. As we're coming on now back out to the kitchen, let's just take you through a few more other tent options that we have as well. Just so you know that this whole section in here can actually be unzipped. Other options that we have here, you can actually fully enclose this whole kitchen awning area as well. It's all zipped on, so you can have a window here. As you can see, this is all folded up, but bring that down. You have a nice window through the kitchen here to protect you from the elements once it starts raining. Another option that we do have, if you want it bigger, we can cater for bigger as well. There's a whole awning out here that can actually extend all the way out here as well and have a whole separate section here. With the awning out here, even without the awning, you can have a nice little setup beautiful view of the water today out here on Vashon Island. Absolutely stunning. A few other extra features as well. We got a nice little spot here for your annex as well. So unroll this out here. It comes, you know, like over two meters. So perfect spot here, put some poles up. You could have a nice little spot out here as well, okay? And one of the most luxury things we have, of course, is hot and cold showers, okay? So you can sit here, have a nice little hot shower, 
We'll set up the ensuite out here, hook this up, and uh, you're living pretty nice. Camping in Australia is just a way of life. And the fact is Australia is so remote. You know, the big difference between Australia and the US, there's nothing in the middle of Australia. Four wheel driving is just, just a way of life in Australia. And we build it tough there so we can last, you know, for a long time around. We also have a more compact camper trailer as well called our Explorer. It's only 15 foot, but that thing there can carry its own payload. It's probably one of the toughest camper trailers around on the market today.